Welcome to Life Journey Glory Church. I got a message for you today. And I'm serious about this message. And it touched my heart to see so many people that are, de are deceived by the witches. Yes, they are deceived by the witches, witches. And they say because, listen to me, the reason why witches look like Christian because they are mimicking Christians. They are mimicking saints. And the reason why people are deceived by the witches is because we don't know the difference between light and darkness. We don't, need, we don't know the difference between right and wrong. We all know the difference between truth and error. Christians that look like witches and witches that look like Christian. But how can you tell the difference? I'm so glad you asked. I'm gonna tell you how you tell the difference. You tell the difference by the Bible saying, you should know them by their fruits. How oh, glory to God. Listen, my friend. The Bible talk about the 17 activities of the flesh and their nine fruit of the spirit. So how can you tell the difference between a witch and a Christian? And the reason why I say that you can't tell the difference between a Christian and a witch and a witch between a Christian because they look alike, they sound alike, and they walk alike. I'm gonna tell you the reason why you can tell a different. You can tell a different by the car. The Bible say a grape tree don't bear fruit. Don't bear grape. Hallelujah. A grape tree don't bear orange, and an orange tree don't bear grape. Hallelujah. That's how it is different. You tell a different by the Bible say you should. You can tell a difference because you, the Bible say you should know them by the fruit. Now when Jesus is talking about fruits now. He was talking about the characteristic of a person that say they are Christians. Everybody is not a Christian. Because people, listen, listen, listen. Because people think they could attend church, they are Christian. No, anybody goes to church. To be a Christian, go to God, you got to be born again. You got to live the life of a Christian. You got to confess Jesus Christ in your life. He go to God and Jesus Christ first first and foremost in your life that's a Christian everybody's not a Christian a Christian don't just say they're Christian a Christian is one that walk the walk and talk the talk Hasha. so I'm telling people my friend you can't tell the difference between a witch and a Christian I'm gonna tell you the reason why you can't tell the difference because you are not a Christian a Christian can tell the difference between a witch because the lifestyle you live determine if you are a witch. Anybody can be a witch. Because the Bible say, go to God, witchcraft is of the flesh. And if the flesh dominates your life, that's why you are a witch. It ain't cause you got a black hat. It ain't cause you got a broom. It ain't cause you doing, you doing sorcery, you doing go to chanting. No, your stubbornness determine your witchery. Oh, go to God. You might you you might do those things activity and say you a witch, but I'm telling you, doing all those things don't determine that you a witch. What the term you would be a witch because you deny Jesus Christ as being Lord. You deny the, the principles, the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Now when I say doctrine now, I'm not trying to sound deep. I'm talking about teaching of Jesus. Taught. What do you mean taught? Jesus Christ taught the, the, the Sermon on Mount, and the Sermon on Mount is for now, it's not for the future. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It talk about glory to God that we as being Christian, we can't just be talking the talk. Help, we gotta walk the walk. Being a Christian is not just on Sunday. Being a Christian, glory to God, is 24-7. Your affirmation, go to God. You're a Christian, my friend. You talk about church things. You're a Christian, you talk about Christ. You're a heathen, you talk about things of the world. 
So how you tell the difference between a witch and a Christian? I'm gonna tell you a witch, my friend. A witch is wicked. A witch is evil. A witch is they serve glory to God. Gods. They serve goddess. And they don't serve the God of the universe, which is Jesus Christ. How you tell a, a witch? You tell a witch, my friend. God, glory to God. You can't. I'm gonna tell you something. You can't discern. The Bible says, He that is spiritual judge all things and judge by no man. Don't judge according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So you can't tell a witch because what, what, how they dress. No, you can't tell a, a witch because how they. You can't tell a witch because they wear black because people wear black. You can't tell a witch because they wear lipstick. Everybody wear lipstick. You can't tell a witch about the jewelry they wear. Almost everybody wears jewelry. So how do you determine a person is a witch? You tell them, go to God by their stubbornness to the word of God. Hear me out now. You tell them, go to God by how they walk. How they talk. The Bible says the button in the heart, the mouth speaketh. What comes out your mouth determine your character. What's come out your mouth now? What come out your heart? Your heart is treacherous creature above them all. So how you tell the difference between a witch and a Christian? I'm going to tell you, that's why the church are full of witches. Because we can't tell the difference between a witch. A witch might carry a Bible, but they are wicked. A witch might go to God carry the Bible, my friend, but they're deceitful. A witch might carry a Bible, but their intention is to trap you, is to dupe you, is to twist you with their deceits. How you tell a witch from a Christian? You tell a Christian because a Christian walk with Jesus and they talk with Jesus and say, Jesus, you are my own. A witch, go to God, they don't pray, they chant. Christian, we pray. But hello, witches, they chant, they do portions. So you can tell a difference between a witch and a Christian. You tell a Christian, go to God. By they go to God. They don't go, witch burn candle. We don't burn candle. Go to God. We are the light of the world. Hey, go to God. Christian, we don't do ritual. Go, we do relationship. How you tell a witch from a Christian? I'm so glad. Go to God. I know the difference, my friend. I know the difference. It ain't the how they dress. No, we can't get hung up on how a witch look. We can't. We gotta have the Holy Ghost. We gotta have the Holy Spirit, my friend. The Holy Spirit determine who are witches. Because the Bible says, try the Spirit by the Spirit to see where there be a God. Because there are many false prophets have entered into this world. So the church. Go to God are full of witches. Yes, my friend, they're full of witches. Witches, hallelujah. Everywhere we go, we see a witch, my friend. Which is all your job. Witches, go to God. In your home. Yes, witches in your home. Because anytime you are stubborn, there's a form of witchcraft. Ah, go to God. Come on now. Go to God. Saul, Saul, Saul. He killed the witches. And he went back and tried to find a witch to bring up Saul, to bring up Samuel. So I'm telling you, and I mean it, my friend. How you tell a person is a witch? I hope you have the Holy Ghost because your brain can determine it. I don't care how many books you read, it can't determine it unless you're reading a book which is called the Bible. How you tell a witch? You can't tell a witch by the way she dress. No, you can't do it. You can't tell a witch by she wearing a black hat or black clothes. No, you can't tell a witch by that. You tell a witch, my friend, by go to God, by the Spirit of God, by the Holy Ghost. And a lot of people don't have the Holy Ghost. That's why you are tricked by the witch. If you have the Holy Ghost, you got discernment. Because the Bible says, try the spirit. Try the spirit. So which call 
I'm discernment. And, and I, I tell people, my friend, the only way you can tell a witch, my friend, if they open their mouth. If they never open your mouth, go to God. You got a spirit of discernment, can discern error and discern truth. Everybody in church ain't safe. We, as people, we gotta stop getting close to people and get close to the Prince of Peace. His name is Jesus. Because people, my friend, they go home and they come back and they're different. You know why they're different? Because, go to God, people change under pressure. People change, go to God because they make a contract with Satan. Hallelujah, my friend. Ah, yes, witches are everywhere. Witches go to God. They're in the shopping center. They're in the store. Everywhere you go, there's a witch. I'm telling you, my friend. Go to God. That's why I tell people, my friend. The Bible says, Great is he that's in you than that's he that's in the world. No weapon that form against thee shall prosper. And we Bible says we are overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And the love by the life unto death. So how to determine a witch from a Christian? Because Christian look like witch and witch look like Christian. But how you tell a different preacher? You tell a different by the Holy Ghost. Hashabah. Hallelujah. You tell the different by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Paul. Paul. The Apostle Paul. He was confronted by the, the woman. There's a damsel. Go to God. She was a spirit of divination. And Peter and Paul. Paul say it grieved him. And he turned around and he rebuked the spirit of divination. And a mirror spirit came out of that damsel. And he locked up Paul. And then locked up Sal. Uh, uh, Sal. Amen. Silas. What I'm saying to you, my friend. You might not can't tell. Because you don't feel, you're not filled with the Holy Ghost. But if you have the spirit of the Holy Ghost, you can tell the different. Hallelujah. And our churches are full of witches. Because a preacher man don't have no power. The preacher man don't have the anointing. He got education, but he don't have the education. Oh, the the education is the power of the Holy Ghost. The power, my friend, it deserves the witches. It, hallelujah, tell you who are the witches in our land. You need to be a discernment. Our churches, which is on the choir, which is an usher, which is everywhere we go. You know why? Because a preacher man, he don't have no power. He don't have the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost tell you who are your friend and who are the enemies. Oh, glory to God. I'm making this video because somebody right now, you got a friend that's a witch. And this person trying to kill you. They're trying to kill you through niceness. They're trying to kill you through proportion. They're trying to kill you through manipulation. Hey, they're your friend because they're trying to destroy you. But the Bible says, my friend, no weapon that's full against thee shall prosper. I'm telling you, the Bible says trust no man, include the woman too. You gotta trust the Spirit of God. You gotta trust the anointing. It makes the difference in your life. When Jesus Christ stood up and said, Today, the scripture is fulfilled. The Lord have called me to, to anoint. Hallelujah. How? To know the difference between a Christian and a witch. I'm telling you by the word of God. I'm telling you, don't do it by head knowledge. Do by scripture knowledge. Do by the Holy Ghost knowledge. I'm not telling. That's why people, my friend, they don't like my video. Because I'm I'm dealing on the word of God. I'm based it on the scripture. The scripture. The Bible says, hallelujah, heaven and earth going to pass away. But my word will not pass away. Give me the word. Man should not live by bread alone. Give it a word. Live by for the meat that perish, but live for the meat that endure to everlasting life. Stay on the word. If you stay on the word, you will not be fooled by the witches. That's in your neighborhood. 
You will not be fooled. My days. Yes, we live in the last days. Which is that sound like Christians. But they're not. You hear me? Christian. Hallelujah. Samuel said, What's the bleeding in my ears? Saul said, I killed everything. But Samuel said, What is the bleeding? In my ears, you didn't keep the commandment of God. God said, kill everything. Kill all the Amorites. But hallelujah, Samuel, glory to God. Saul kept back the good. But God said, kill them all. We can't do what we want to do and expect to have discernment. We can't do what we want to do and expect to have the Holy Ghost. God give the Holy Ghost to them that are obedience. If you are obedience, my friend, God will keep you. But if you're not God not going to show you. Keep me under the power of God. Keep me humble. Keep me obedient. Keep me, oh God, under the shadow of the Almighty. Keep me, oh God. Oh God, I'm just dust in your presence. I don't know it all. Hallelujah. I don't know it all, but I know enough to know who are the witches and who are the warlocks in our churches. That's all I have to say, my friend. How you tell the difference between a witch and a Christian because the churches are full of witches. And this is a part two. I had a part one and a few people look at it, but I'm telling the truth, my friend, because the Bible says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. The difference. Hallelujah, God, God. Seek the Holy Ghost, y'all. Yeah. If you got the Holy Ghost, you won't be fooled. If you have the Holy Ghost, you won't be bamboozled. If you have the Holy Ghost, you won't be found the seat and, be and believe this anointing. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the church full of homosexual and lesbian and transgender because we don't have the Holy Ghost. Nowadays, you gotta ask people for their birth certificate. Yes, you ask people for the birth certificate because it's going to go. the birth certificate don't lie. You was a man, now you a woman. You was a woman, now you a man. I don't, I don't need a birth certificate. What I need is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost can see through that surgery. Papa. Hallelujah. Father God, bless this person right now. Give them the Holy Ghost. Give them discernment right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.